Oh my gosh. They're very excited. What a wild audience. They're very, they're crazy. We're they're crazy daytime up on people. Caffeine. What are you raves and, at 3 p.m. Um, nice so to see you, you again. <laughs> it's nice to see you yeah. as well. Um, I found this interesting because I know that you've coached, you know, on a show and you've also judged on a show, but you actually also did competitions growing up. Yeah. And we have footage of this. <laughs> no. Yes, we oh, do. No. Yes. Oh, great. <laughs> Look at, that look, at, look at that sexy little gosh. number. I love that shirt. Wow. wow. So, what is your most? What was that? Where were you? Do you uh, remember? That was that, that was in Australia uh, on this thing called New Faces. Um, okay. I think I was 15 or something. I said I was 16 to get on the show, but I think I was 15. Okay, so liar right I off lied, the bat. Yeah, okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like an actor. Yeah, you're usually lying to sneak yeah. into clubs. I was lying to sneak into talent singing competitions. I love that though. I just think it's cool. I didn't know that about you. And yeah. then you've like been helping people like kind of guide them through competitions. So I think that's really cool. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I know what it's like to be crucified in, yeah, like in front of in a front lot of people. Of people. Yes. Uh, so I, I try not to do that yeah. to anybody. Yeah. No, constructive criticism always helps. Well, constructive were your, is good, Were yes. your parents, like, supportive on that? I know a lot of people, like, when I told my mom I wanted to sing, she was like, oh, sit on a lot of people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you so know, somebody <laughs> said um, criticism is a sandwich best served between two layers of praise. Oh. That's a good way to do it. I like Because it's like, I like blah, 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 this is what you could work on, yeah. but this part is really good as well. And sort of like, that's a nice combination, I think, to feel yeah. mo motivated. You know? Oh, wow, that's good. I'm gonna steal that, if you're okay with Have that? It. Okay, yes. yeah, and then I'm gonna say it was mine. Um, <laughs> so wait, you're on the road again, and everybody's so excited to get back out on the road. I know, yeah. especially a, a lot of Nashvillians, a lot of musicians live there and have been out of work forever, so mm. everybody's so and excited. Road crew, too. Road so crew, crew, that's what I mean. Yeah. Everybody has yeah. been out of work. And so it's called the Speed of Now World Tour. Yes. And uh, where are some of your like favorite play? Where are you excited to play? I know you're, you're so going all over the world. You're so good at this, Kelly. I'm so oh, glad I you like have talking. a show and you do this so well. <laughs> Thank you. It's really good. I like it. It's, it's, it's great. You're born to do it. Oh, I was born to talk. I actually got in trouble for it in high school. So, neater, neater, neater joke's on you. <laughs> um, <laughs> but everyone's excited to get back out there. And I know, like, a lot of people have been hurting financially. Just excited. Yeah. But also, artistically, it's fun to get out there and be in front of the crowd and, like, feel... Because now we have a yes. crowd back here when yeah. I'm performing. And I, yeah. It's different. It's like a different vibe than yeah. how we've had to have done it for the last two years. So. Yeah, well, it's... I mean, for me, it's, it's crucial to have... The crowd is 50% of mm. the whole experience. Otherwise, yeah. it's just one long sound check. Yeah. It's not, a, it's not, it's yeah. not even a gig. It's yeah. just like, where's the people? Yeah. Um, so I feel like I've been in rehearsal for a year and I'm ready to actually play some shows. Yeah. Are there any places you really love playing? Like, any like places like in like the US that you're like, there are always pockets that I love, yeah. like that are like really good audiences for me. Uh, honestly, so many places are consistent now. Oh, good. Like, the, there was times when it was like, oh, so do, and this area was really good, and we're still going to work down here and everything. But now yeah. everything's starting to get just wild and yeah. reckless. I like and, your shoulders. But okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's getting, how I want the crowd to be. Yeah. They're getting groovy. Loose like and yes. loose. You know what, though? It's kind loose. of a stupid question because everybody at this point is so dying for like live music. Yeah. Everyone's going to be having a good time. Yeah, so that's yeah. So, that's so cool. Have you ever had any like mishaps on stage? Like where something ha life, I've had a few. What did, what did you No, we're happen? good. Just give me one. <laughs> I shared one and it made like headline news everywhere. And I was like, I don't know if I wanted everyone to know. <laughs> right. I was at Staples yeah. one time yeah. and well, I got, I, I, I had food poisoning and well, no, you uh, something stage. happened before the encore. My personal encore of a meal happened. <laughs> wow, on yeah. stage? Uh, no, 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 no. I ran backstage and was very like pro about it and then was not. But it's interesting because if you think about it, the stage is built in arena. There's thousands of people cheering me on while yeah. this is all happening. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I'm having my own personal bridesmaids what moment. What was the song right before that moment? When, because obviously you can feel this coming on. This is gonna go pear-shaped here oh. real quick. Oh but. no, here's the best part. I don't even remember. It was probably like, since you've been gone or whatever, something like that, it was probably like that. But it was like right <laughs> when I had to come back on, I was about to go on stage and sing The Greatest uh, Showman. We did a reimagined thing and it was never enough. And it's like very intense and like the sun has passed away and I'm like trying to get in the mood while secretly I'm like, like, don't happen again, please. Right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Has that ever happened to you? Not to that degree. Oh, stop. Wow. You, you let me go no, through like, all that like and you gave me nothing. I, <laughs> no, I haven't had anything like that happen. No? No, I split my pants on stage. Oh, I've done that too. Yeah. 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 And that's when you wish the guitar was more so in the back, but. Yeah. 
Mine was in a video shoot. What? I split my pants. It's in Jimmy Gone video, actually. Wow, you could the director still sing said dropped. I know this song is not good for me. And what, do you forget lyrics or anything? Are you that? Do you ever forget I'm where you're pretty, at in the show? Pretty good with lyrics. Yeah. Um, I, one time I forgot the words to the song, and I'm singing along, and I'm just singing away, and my, in my head I'm thinking, what's the next verse? I'm like, oh, I don't know it, I don't know it. And it came, and I was like, and I'm wriggling this mic. And it, 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 on, Wait, did you this, pretend that there was a like malfunction? Yeah. You are so smart. And um, <laughs> so, yeah, well. I'm stealing this as well. Uh, it, it, uh, there's, there's a bit more to the story. So. I apparently did it so well that one of the road crew ran out and replaced the mic immediately. <laughs> but by then I knew what the lyrics were, so it was all good. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Oh man, I forget. Because this all the thing time. to the audience is a giveaway, right? You go. That's, I do it though. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. ew, Jesus help me. <laughs> I'm like, and then I own it. I'm like, I totally, I wrote it. I don't remember it. I don't right. know what's happening. I'm like making a list of things to do. In my, I don't know what's happening. But yeah. you've made music with many people, from Taylor Swift um, to Pink, who I love, yeah, I love that. Her. Oh yeah. my God, I love it. Yeah. Um, so who's been your most like memorable moment? Not like, necessarily your favorite, but like the circumstance was kind of crazy or something. Gosh, um, all of them. I mean, I did a I did a thing with Post Malone for this Elvis tribute that we did. I saw that. And it was. Oh my great. God, I love that. Yeah. Was Blake on that? Yeah. Oh, no, was that yeah. 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 Exactly. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, I just love him so much. It was great to get to play with him. So. Yeah, and it was interesting to see all of you. I would have never guessed all of y'all on a stage. It was like a really cool yeah. moment. I yeah. thought that was really well yeah, done. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool to get to play with a bunch of people that you. Is there anybody that you really want to play with that you've never played with? Oh, tons of people. Yeah? We should sing a song. Fine. Yeah? Fine. Um, I love Fine. singing. I love singing Fine. video. Just um, give me a number and I won't call for okay, a long you won't time. Call for right? a long time. <laughs> um, no, but John Mayer said that you paid him for an amp in like a weird way, and I found out the way, and I oh, want you to funny. tell people because it's awesome. Yeah, uh, it was an amplifier that, that I was going to buy from him. Yeah. It was really expensive. And anyway, long story short, I, I had to figure out how to get the money to him. He sent me the amp, and so I had. I had a check written out, put it in like this cra crazy sort of briefcase, like so mission and had impossible a, with the chain and the whole thing on the on the wrist, and My paid God. somebody like stand in line at his meet and greet with this thing and wait till I get up there and like present him with this and then just walked off. I didn't know that part. I thought you just gave it to him like that. You no, had someone come in and I had like someone unexpected. Yeah, it's, it would never happen now. I think oh my that would gosh, have you're so funny. Before he got near John, so. You're all about the end game with a joke. <laughs> that is like that is like a serious like follow through. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Um, you also performed recently with her at the Tina Turner tribute, I did, which I think yeah. is amazing because it was last minute, right? Very last minute, like yeah. the day before, they called me and said, "Can you fill in for Brian Adams?" And and I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is this is a tall order." Because me and Brian's an amazing singer. Her is a great singer, and yeah, to, and so you know, are you. I, I wouldn't yeah. have mind a little more rehearsal time, but yeah, you just. Go for it, right? But that, that's where I think that whole, like, you playing in clubs, like, growing up, like, I think that you're you're that guy that can, they know, they can call to be like, he is so good at, like, just adapting. I think that's why. I they was, can't call anybody and do that. Uh, well, I was, I was happy to get the call. I love yeah. Brian, and uh, I always wanted to play a song with her as well. So She's I got so to do good. She's really good. Love her. Yeah. It turned out to be really cool. Had you ever met Tina Turner, or did you get to meet her that night? I've never met Tina, no. Oh. She wasn't there, unfortunately. Oh, wow, okay, okay. I'm a huge fan of her. Who isn't? Yeah. Yeah, did you see Tina? The oh, yeah. Good Lord. Yeah. I was like, that was really good. Yeah. I tend to not watch things like that because Why I think, do you watch things like that? Because I feel, I don't watch a lot of things like documentaries like with artists. I don't know, sometimes I feel like it's too close to home, some of this stuff, and I'm just like, right. ah, I've already lived that. I don't want to watch right. that. Yeah. Do you do that? I love watching documentaries. I love documentaries. Lots I just mean specifically about musicians and like their lives. Like. No, I love them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I've seen like a few, but I, it's really hard. Like I've never seen the Whitney one. I can't go near it. Right. Uh, yeah, I feel like I just, it'd be just too sad. Yeah. That is, that is a sad one. Yeah, exactly. Somebody told me that and I was like, I can't yeah. go there. Yeah. yeah. But Tina's got a good ending, so it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah.